Hello and welcome sports fans to this live video streaming event from Table Rock Sports Productions. In partnership with our local school districts and our outstanding sponsors who make these live presentations possible for you fans to enjoy. I'm Joseph Brett alongside Carl Sorensen on camera for you for me this afternoon. And we are coming to you live from North Medford High School where it's North Medford South Medford softball here at Larry Benny Field at North Medford High School. The Panthers come in to take on the North Medford Black Tornado. The Black Tornado ranked number 10 in the state, 9-4 and four on the season, 4-1 and one in the Southwest Conference. They are coached by Chris Campbell, Daniel Smalley, Ron Becker, Tori Smalley, Greg Winner, and Justin Edwards. On the other side, the Panthers, they're 5-6. and six. They're the 20 rank, 20th ranked team in the state. They come in 3-2 and two in the Southwest Conference. They're coached by Miranda Gillespie and assisted by Rylan Austin. We join you in the bottom of the first inning. You just saw the Panthers retired. They left no runners stranded. They scored zero. Same thing for the Black Tornado in the top of the first. One, two, three, one, two, three for both of these teams in the first inning as we head to the top half of the second. The scores you see on the John L. Scott scoreboard still 0-0. Zero, zero between the Black Tornado and the Panthers. Pitching this afternoon for North Medford, it's Gabby Urban. She will not be hitting. She has a designated hitter for her. That's Lucy Roberts at the plate now for the Panthers. It is number 12, Nicole Ledendecker. She is pitching this afternoon for South Medford. Had herself a quick one, two, three, first inning. Looking to get things started for the Panthers here in the top of the second as the leadoff batter. Four, five, six coming to the plate for South Medford. It's not the greatest day out here today for softball. But at the moment, there is no rain falling. Clouds off in the distance. Looks like rain will be heading our way shortly. It is 56 degrees and cloudy. And as we mentioned, the showers will be here continuously through the afternoon as Ledendecker is retired on the ground ball back to the pitcher. And the throw to first is in time. Folks, our sponsors make these live presentations possible for you fans to enjoy. Please let them know you appreciate their support. Please help Table Rock Sports by subscribing to our YouTube channel, Head on over to YouTube, search Table Rock Sports, and give that red subscribe button a click and join the 3,300 others that get notifications when all games go live. A beautiful change up there from Gabby Urban for the first strike to Brianna Turry. Terry swinging on this one, pops it up. The catcher has a chance to make the play, and she does. And we have two outs. Presley Lawton there to make the grab for the Black Tornado. She is catching in behind the plate today for North Medford. So now coming to the plate will be Aubrey Joe. In her first appearance of the ball game, Joe looks at the change up there for a strike. Owen won the count to Joe. A high fastball up in the zone. Swung on and missed by Joe, and she is now behind in the count. No balls and two strikes. Urban delivers the 0-2 pitch, and it's going to be in there for a ball. Good eye there by Joe to lay off of that one. We'll go over the defensive lineups for both teams here in just a moment as this one has popped up, and another one to the catcher, Lawton. She makes the grab, and the Panthers are retired here. In the top of the second, we'll head to the bottom half, still 0-0, as you see on the John L. Scott scoreboard. John L. Scott with offices in Medford, Ashland, and Eugene. 
We're going to start here with the South Medford Panthers as they're coming out defensively. Malia Tolley will be playing center field, hitting leadoff. Hannah Turpin, shortstop, hitting second. Casey Hudson is in left field, hitting third. Hitting cleanup is Nicole Ledendecker. She is pitching and in the circle for the Panthers for game one. Hitting fifth and playing third base is Brianna Turry. Hitting sixth and playing first is Aubrey Joe. Hitting seventh, catching behind the plate as always for the Panthers is Shelby Hillier. Hitting eighth and playing right field is Jaden Coat. And hitting ninth and playing second base, turning the lineup over today for the Panthers is Sydney Butterfield. For North Medford, hitting cleanup, it's Malia Hamlin, she's playing, or hitting leadoff, it's Malia Hamlin, she's playing left field for the Black Tornado. Natalie Tuscala is at short, shortstop, hitting second, hitting third, Presley Lawton and catching, hitting fourth and pitching, or excuse me, pitching is Gabby Urban, she will not be hitting today, the designator hit, hitter will be Lucy Roberts. Hitting fifth, Callie Rains, playing first base. Hitting sixth, Gia Rutt-Gliano, and she's at second. Hitting seventh, J.C. Russell-Tyler, she's in center field. Hitting eighth is Lucy Roberts, she's the designated hitter today. And hitting ninth will be Kaylin Russell-Tyler, she is playing right field. At the plate now for North Medford, it is the four hitter, number 13, or excuse me, that is, see if I can get a number there, make sure I have this batting order correct for you guys. So we'll have to check on that one there, who's hitting in the fourth spot. But now coming to the plate, hitting fifth is number 10, Callie Rains, for her first appearance of the afternoon as Nicole Ledendecker gets her first strikeout of the ball game. Still no hits here as we are in the bottom of the second inning for either team. As Ledendecker Decker delivers that one low in the zone for ball one, the or ball two. And that one in there for a strike from Ledendecker. Decker. Two and one now the count. And a beautiful changeup there gets Reigns to chase. And the count now even two balls and two strikes. The 2-2 pitch high in the zone for ball three and the count now full. As Ledendecker worked her way back in to this at bat here. And Reigns looking at a 3-2 pitch. Ledendecker, the wind up, the delivery, swung on and driven down the right field line, but it's going to be foul. And a high fastball swung on and missed for strike number three. And that's going to do it for the bottom half. Or excuse me, that is out number two. And now brings to the plate Gia Rutgliano. So 
So back to back strikeouts for Lennon Decker. And now the six hitter, Recliano, steps into the batter's box. And she is quickly behind. No balls and two strikes the count. The 2-2 pitch just outside misses for ball one. And that one in there for a strike. Three straight strikeouts. Lennon Decker strikes out the side, and that's going to do it for... The bottom half of the second inning. We head to the top of the third. Still tied at zero, as you see on the John L. Scott scoreboard. John L. Scott offices in Medford, Ashland, and Eugene. Back with more North Medford, South Medford softball on Table Rock Sports right after this. U.S. Cellular for years now. They asked me to tell you about their special customer event, Us Days. Exclusive deals, like up to $1,200 for any new phone. So I said, if I'm going to be on TV, think I can get hair and makeup? And I even got a manicure, too. Us Days at U.S. Cellular. Get up to $1,200 to upgrade to any new phone. <laughs> Visit U.S. Cellular at Siskiyou, Southern Oregon's exclusive authorized agent for U.S. Cellular, now serving Roseburg and Klamath Falls. See SOUSCellular.com for details. Don't It's, it's pretty freaking dope, dude. I, I love every single day of it. We welcome you back. It's the Lithia Superstore Game of the Day here on Table Rock Sports. It's the top of the third inning, still tied at zero. As Shelby Hillier steps into the batter's box for the Panthers. She is catching this afternoon, as always, for South Medford. And she drives this one to the third baseman. It's scooped up the throw to first in time. Mosier over to Reigns, and there is one away. Now at the plate, the right fielder for the Panthers today, Jaden Coate. And Coate tries to check the swing and hold up there, but goes around and a called strike on the first pitch to the Panthers right fielder. Coat lays off of this one high and away in the zone. One and one the count. That one called strike two. If I see things correctly over there on the scoreboard, it looks like 6-1 to one North Medford over South Medford in the first inning on the boys' side of things. As Coat goes down on strikes, our first strikeout of the day for Urban. And we have two outs here in the top of the third. And a swing and a miss from Butterfield. Now she's looking at an 0-1 count. She swings at this one, pops it up, the shortstop. Tiscala coming in and making the call on it, makes the grab. And that'll do it for the top of the third. We're going to head to the bottom half. It's South Medford 0, North Medford 0 here on Table Rock Sports. Stay tuned, folks, between innings. 
ahead for the Medford Parks and Recreation Report with updates on spring activities. Visit playmedford.com for the latest recreation guide. All the sports leagues, classes, and special events await you. Visit playmedford.com to learn more. Back with more South Medford, North Medford softball right after this on tablerocksports.net. It's game day for a family get-together. Sherms has the quality products and prices that will make you cheer. Sherms Thunderbird Market, Medford's original discount grocery store. You want diverse venues? We got them. Year-round sports access? You bet. Race cars, soccer, paragliding? Check, check, check. Medford has it covered as your sport ground, where the West Coast plays. We welcome you back here on Table Rock Sports. It's the Lithia Superstore game of the day. It's the bottom half of the third inning. Still no base runners for either of these teams. And for the North Medford Black Tornado, it'll be the seven, eight, nine hitters coming to the plate. Russell Tyler up there now for North Medford. And that's JC. There appears there's two sisters, JC and Kaylin. Kaylin hitting ninth for the Black Tornado. She's in the hole. On deck is Lucy Roberts. The count now one ball and one strike. And that one fouled off. 0-2 now the count. And Russell Tyler going to go down on strikes there. That's, oh, did she walk? Oh, she walked. My apologies. And the first base runner of the game is aboard. And it is for North Medford. Now at the plate for the Black Tornado, it is Lucy Roberts, and she has a 1-0 count. Back pick here as Joe comes in, the second baseman for the Panthers' Butterfield, working the back door, but the base runner... Tyler back safely, and the count now, two balls and no strikes. Showing bunt again, pulling back this one, a called strike. Two one now the count to Roberts. This one in the dirt. Back pick again. The runner back safely. Looked like she was going to steal. 
or the the button run was on for the black tornado but Roberts pulling it back and now looks at a 3-1 count here. North Medford just trying to get that runner in scoring position with no outs. It's popped up to the pitcher. The throw over to first not in time. The runner back safely and we have one out. Now at the plate for the Black Tornado. It's Kaylin Russell Tyler. She shows bunt, tries to lay it down, but it's going to go off the bat and foul. Swing and a miss there. And now Tyler is behind. No balls and two strikes. Ledin Decker looking to get her fourth strike out of the ball game here as she has Tyler behind in the count 0-2. And, and that one high and away in the zone for ball one. The wind blowing in straight across from right field. And then blowing out as it gets towards center, straight out towards center field. So kind of a interesting wind going on here at Larry Benny Field this afternoon. I got one flag to my left, and it's blowing straight behind me from right field. The flag in center field, though, is blowing straight out to center field. So the wind in the favor of the batter here at North Medford High School today. As Tyler pops this one up into shallow outfield, coming on to make the play is Tolley. And we got two outs here in the bottom of the third inning. And now back to the top of the order, the second appearance for Hamlin as she steps into the batter's box for the pan or for the Black Tornado. She's the leadoff batter, swinging at the first pitch and not able to make contact. The count now 0 and 1 as the rain slowly starts to come down here. Don't think we'll have anything too heavy. In this doubleheader, the bunt laid down. The third baseman comes on to make the play. The throw to first. Joe makes the grab. And that'll do it for the third inning. Turry to Joe. And we head to the top half of the fourth. Still 0-0 here at North Medford High School between the Black Tornado and the Panthers. Folks, did you know the city of Medford is the largest provider of community recreation classes, programs, and sports leagues in Southern Oregon? Check out the program guide for hundreds of offerings at playmedford.com. Back with more South Medford, North Medford softball on Table Rock Sports right after this. Ventures start at Pinnacle 365. Accelerate your day with morning motivation. Freshly ground, swiftly brewed from fresh bean to cup in no time at all. And now we're here for your daily dinner adventures. Introducing crispy, crunchy chicken online ordering. Mouthwatering crispy, crunchy chicken for dinner made deliciously easy. Just open the app or visit the website, select a pickup time, choose from your favorites, and your crispy, crunchy chicken will be prepared hot and fresh. Make dinner a breeze at Pinnacle 365.
No, you're all right. I got this. We welcome you back to the Lithia Superstore game of the day here on Table Rock Sports. It's the top of the fourth inning. And at the plate for South Medford, it is Malia Tolley, the leadoff batter for the Panthers. She looks at the first pitch there from Urban in for a ball. Shows bunt, and that one high in the zone for ball two. And that one's going to miss outside for ball three. Now totally ahead in the count, three balls and no strikes. And that one's going to be down in the zone for ball four. Four straight pitches in there for a ball from Urban. And the leadoff batter aboard for the Panthers. And now the two hitter coming to the plate, Hannah Turpin. Turpin lays down the bunt. The throw over to first will be in time, but the Panthers now have a runner in scoring position here in the top half of the fourth inning as Tolley advances over there to second base. A beautiful bunt by Turpin, and now the three-hole hitter coming to the plate for South Medford. It'll be Casey Hudson. Hudson 0 for 1 here in the ball game. Grounded out in the first. And looks at the first offering from Urban in there for a ball. Next one in there low for ball 2. The 2-0 pitch, high for ball three. The Panthers dug out, wasting no time trying to get into the head of pitcher Gabby Urban, chanting 2-0, 3-0, and now four straight pitches once again in there for a ball from Urban. I wish I could remember it now, but there is a college baseball team where the pitcher racks up four balls in a row, and all the fans will start chanting, you know, four, 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 five, five, five. And sometimes that really tends to get into the head of the pitcher. I've seen a couple times where they've gotten the pitcher to throw 12 to 15 straight balls. That one ripped to the shortstop. The throw to third in time. They get the lead runner, Tolley. And runners still at first and second for the Panthers. Now at the plate for South Medford, Brianna Turry. 0 for 1 as well on the day. Has a runner in scoring position here in the fourth, and a chance to give the Panthers the lead. That pitch high for ball one. And a beautiful change up there from Urban. Evens the count up at one and one. 
North Medford boys now up 7-1 to one over the Panthers. And they are in the second inning. Another beautiful changeup in there for a strike. And now Urban ahead in the count looking to get out of the jam here in the fourth. One and two. Now to Turry. The one, two, swung on, driven foul down the third baseline. Again, the one, two, swung on and missed. The second strike out of the ball game for Urban. And that'll do it for the top half of the fourth inning. Urban gets out of a little bit of a jam. She walked two, but she leaves them both stranded here in the top half. We're going to head to the bottom of the fourth. Still 0-0, as you see on the John L. Scott scoreboard. John L. Scott, offices in Medford, Ashland, and Eugene. Back right after this on Timber Rock Sports with more South Medford, North Medford softball. Thanks for the ride. I'll see you after the game. Hey, um. Dear Katie, I've been your number one fan since I watched your first game all those years ago. And I still love watching you play. But I wanted to see you win so badly that my competitive nature got the best of me. I lost track of what's important. I thought I was supporting you, but I was really just embarrassing you. I'm not your coach and I'm not an official. I forgot my role. I'm your parent and you deserve better. From here on, I promise to keep my emotions under control. I'll cheer for you and all the other players, no matter the score, no matter the outcome. Thank you for sharing with me how I can do a better job of supporting you, your team, your coaches, and the sports you love. Still your number one fan. Love that. We welcome you back. If you're just joining us, we are here in the bottom half of the fourth inning. And still tied at zero between South Medford and North Medford. We welcome you to the Lithia Superstore game of the day. Pitching for South Medford is Nicole Ledendecker. And she's going to face... The two, three, four hitters for North Medford. It's going to be Natalie Tiscala, Presley Lawton, and in the hole is Gabby Urban. This one ripped out into right field for a leadoff single. So North Medford again, back-to-back -back innings here, get the leadoff runner aboard and looking to get something going. Now stepping into the batter's box is Presley Lawton. And a pop-up there from Lawton. And one away brings to the plate the pitcher, Gabby Urban. 
Urban with two strikeouts on the day. Giving up a couple of walks and a couple of base runners, but no runs through four innings of work as she looks at the first pitch for a ball. And that one in the dirt from Ledendecker, and now Urban ahead 2-0. And now a 3-0 count to the pitcher, Gabby Urban. Hannah Turpin comes in to Lennon Decker just to give her a word, try to settle her down just a little bit. And it worked. That one back up the middle, a good pitch from Lennon Decker. And North Medford now with one out here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Have runners on first and second. One out, runners on first and second. The Panthers looking to keep things scoreless heading into the fifth inning and stepping into the batter's box for North Medford. It will be number 10, Kaylee Reigns. So two singles here for North Medford in the fourth inning. A runner now in scoring position over there at second base is... Tuscala. And a strike from Ledendecker evens the count up one and one. That pitch high and outside for ball two. And ball three. So 3-1 count now to the five-hitter, Reigns. She's looking to put North Medford on the board here in the fourth inning. And a swing and a miss from her. Foul ball. The ball is dead. Now the count full, 3-2. and two. And a swing and a miss. Strike three. Reigns goes down. And we have two outs here in the fourth. Ledin Decker picks up her fourth strike out of the ball game. Back to back strikeouts for Reigns. And it brings to the plate the six hitter. Number 22, Gia Rutgliano. Back in the second, Ledin Decker struck out the five, six, the four, five, and six hitters. And 
This one fouled off the count. Now one ball and one strike. As I just mentioned, Red Gliano struck out in her first appearance. As she fouls that one off into the backstop, she is now behind one ball and two strikes. That one just missing low and away. Count now even two and two. The 2-2 pitch swung on and foul down the third baseline. The pitch from Ledendecker, check swing. And they're gonna say that she went. Looked like she held up there, but they ask the first base umpire and he says she went, that'll do it. South Medford gets out of it. North Medford leaves two runners stranded. And we head to the top of the fifth, still tied at zero. As you see on the John L. Scott scoreboard, John L. Scott offices in Medford, Ashland, and Eugene. Folks, if I can get my papers right here. There we go. Today's game brought to you by Tap Rock Northwest Bar and Grill in Grants Pass. Elmer's Restaurants of Medford and the Southern Oregon Sports Commission's Know Your Role campaign. Promoting respectful behavior at youth sporting events. And today's game also brought to you in part by Avista Utilities and our friends from Pinnacle 365. Use your peak rewards to save on gas and use the app to order crispy, crunchy chicken and sides on the way home and have them ready to pick up and go. Pinnacle 365. And for almost 50 years, Bill's Glass has been the clear choice in Southern Oregon for your home vehicle or business needs. They're locally owned and family run. Bill's Glass supports our schools and our communities. Aubrey Joe will be the leadoff hitter here in the fifth inning for the Panthers. So the six, seven, eight batters coming to the plate for South Medford. Joe swings on this one. 0-2 now the count. Change up gets Joe. Pops it up to the first baseman. Reigns makes the grab and we got one away. That one fouled off and out of play to the catcher Shelby Hillier. Hillier, sorry. Yeah. 
This one going to be high and outside. The count now even one and one. The 1-1 one, one pitch inside for ball two. And that one high. I count now three and a one. The Panthers battling back a little bit. Down eight to one to the boys. North Medford boys over there. And now looks like eight five. South Medford just scored four in the third. They are still at the plate. So six in the first for the boys. One for South Medford. Two more for North in the second, and then four so far in the third for the Panthers, and they're still at the plate. Looks like with runners on, a runner on third over there. A line drive ball back up the middle, and I think the Panthers just scored another. 8-6 the score. On the other side of things. 3-2 count here. To Hillier. And Hillier drives this one past the third baseman. And a stand-up single for her. So the Panthers now with a runner on here in the fifth. Bring to the plate. Jaden Coat. Coat is playing right field this afternoon. And a beautiful change up from Urban. Gets coat swinging. That one high. Throw down the first. Back pick not in time to get Hillier. So now a 1 1 count to coat. Showing bunt is Cope pulling back and taking ball two. So the Panthers score another one over there. And an 8-7 ball game on the boys' side of things in the third inning. Cope fouls this one off of the face mask of the catcher, Lawton. Count now even two and two. That one in the dirt. Now a full count to Coat. One out here in the fifth for the Panthers. And a swing and a miss. Strike three. Coat goes down. The third strike out of the game for Urban. A second strikeout for Coat. And now the nine hitter will step into the batter's box, Sidney Butterfield. The first pitch to Butterfield. High for ball one.
And this one driven out into left field. It'll be a single for the nine hitter Butterfield. And she turns the lineup back over to the top of the order. Malia Tolley. Coming to the plate. And Tolley drives this one into the gap in right center. It's going all the way to the fence. Two runs are going to score for the Panthers. Tolley in with a stand-up double for South Medford. And the Panthers take the lead in the fifth and break things open. Stand-up double for Tolley. She has now a walk and a double with two RBI. And it'll bring to the plate the two hitter, Hannah Turpin, for her third appearance in the ball game. She is 0 for 2 so far. Turpin looks at the first one outside for ball one. And that one in for a strike. One and one to count to Turpin. That one in the dirt. Good stop by the catcher, Lawton. And now a 3-1 count. So Turpin looks at a 3-1 here. And it's going to catch the bottom of the zone for strike two. This one swung on, driven into left field, and it's going to drop just foul. And the count will stay three and two. The 3-2 to Turpin, swung on, high pop fly, deep into the gap in left center, but the center fielder, J.C. Russell Tyler, able to get over there and make the grab, and that'll do it. We head to the bottom half of the fifth. South Medford leaves one stranded, but they get two across, and now lead two to nothing, as you see on the John L. Scott scoreboard. John L. Scott offices, Medford Ashland and Eugene back right after this. Choose a company that best represents you and our local community. Choose a company that focuses on relationships rather than transactions. Choose a company that empowers their employees and provides growth opportunities from within. Choose a company that shows compassion and rises to the occasion in times of need. Call a John L. Scott broker today. Pick it up. Let's go. Come on. Defense. Defense. What am I teaching you at home? Has this kid played before? Shoot it. 
Oh, ah, come on, ref. Open your eyes. Can't you see out there? So, which one's your kid? The referee. You can be a parent, athlete, coach, or an official, but you can only be one. Know your role. We welcome you back to the Lithia Superstore Game of the Day here on Table Rock Sports. Seven, eight, and nine hitters coming to the plate for North Medford. J.C. Russell Tyler, the center fielder, steps into the batter's box for North Medford. And the count now even to Tyler, one and one. High and outside from Red and Decker, two one now the count. That one ground ball gets past the third baseman, Turry. And for the third straight inning, North Medford has the leadoff batter aboard. And it brings to the plate number 11, Lucy Roberts, 0 for 1 on the day. First pitch for Roberts, in for a strike. And a bunt up in the air, it'll be caught by Lennendecker. And we have one out. Now, Kalen Russell Tyler at the plate pops this one up and out of play. The 0 1 pitch to Tyler. A ball, also 1 and 1 to count.
Showing bunt is Tyler pulling back and taking ball three. Now ahead in the count, three balls and a strike with a runner on first here in the bottom of the fifth inning. On the boys' side of things, now tied up at eight as the Panthers put up seven runs in the third inning. Showing bunt, getting it down. The throw to first will be in time. But the runner advancing to second, and we have two outs. Now at the plate for North Medford. It's the leadoff batter, Malia Hamlin. 0 for 2 on the day. Trying to get North Medford on the board. J.C. Russell Tyler over there at second. A swing and a miss now behind in the count. No balls and two strikes. Pop up, and it'll get down foul. So 0-2 now to Hamlin. She hits this one back up the middle. The second baseman, Turpin, able to grab it, but going to hold up as the left-handed batter, Hamlin, quickly out of the box and down the first baseline. No need to try to make the play. And now first... And the third for North Medford with two outs here in the fifth. And it brings to the plate Natalie Tiascala. And she pops this one up deep into center field. And it is going to get over the head of Tolley. Two runners are going to score. And North Medford ties this ball game up at two in the fifth. And now Tiscala, two, four, three. With two RBIs. Coach comes out to talk with Decker in the infield. She will stay in the ball game. Now 0 for 2 on the day. Her third plate appearance, Presley Lawton steps into the box for North Medford. She has a chance to give the Black the Tornado a lead here. And that one's going to miss just outside for ball one.
And this one driven out into right center. It's going to get all the way to the fence. North Medford will score one more. The runner heading in, digging for third. And she's in with a triple and an RBI. And North Medford now has the lead 3-2 to two here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Now Gabby Urban, the pitcher, coming to the plate. One for two with a single and a strikeout in the ball game. First pitch to Urban in there for a strike. The next one as well. Now Urban quickly behind 0-2. And, A 1-2 pitch. Hard ground ball to the third baseman. The throw over to first is going to be in time. A good scoop by Joe. And that'll do it. We're going to head to the top half of the sixth. North Medford scores three in the bottom half of the fifth. They leave one runner stranded and now lead three to two over the South Medford Panthers. Five total runs there in the fifth inning after four scoreless runs between these two teams. Three to two as you see on the John L. Scott scoreboard. John L. Scott offices in Medford, Ashland, and Eugene. Back right after this on Table Rock Sports with more North Medford, South Medford softball. I ride the bus a lot. RVTD's UMO app with fare capping means I will never pay more than the daily or monthly cap. RVTD gets me to school, work, volunteering, shopping, and even coffee for a fixed amount each month. UMO gives me one less thing to worry about. Thanks, RVTD. Bill's Glass covers the full spectrum of your glass needs and dreams. Having new windows installed by Bill's Glass dramatically update and improves the look of your home and helps reduce energy bills year-round. Let Bill's Glass show you what you've been missing. Bill's Glass, the largest glass company in Southern Oregon for your home and auto, as well as the trusted industry leader for over 50 years. Locally owned, family run, Bill's Glass in Ashland, Medford, and Grants Pass. We welcome you back, Lithia Superstore Game of the Day. We head to the top half of the sixth. South Medford scored two in the fifth. North Medford scored three. And the Black Tornado with the lead. The Panthers have the three, four, five hitters coming to the plate. It's Hudson, followed by Ledendecker, and then Brianna Turry in the hole. 0 for 2 on the day is Casey Hudson. As she pops this one up and out of play. Two balls and a strike now to Hudson.
As she looks at that one high for ball three. That one found in the backstop, so the count now full for Hudson. Three balls and two strikes. This one popped up, and the first baseman, Callie Rains, will make the grab, and we have one out here in the sixth. The pitcher Ledin Decker at the plate now. Fouls the first one off. Out to of play down the first baseline. And she looks at the changeup in the dirt. 1-1 one, one count now to Lennendecker. And that one down in the zone as well. 2-1 now the count. This one popped up down the right field line, and it's going to get out of play into the North Medford bullpen. So now Lennon Decker looking at the 2-2 pitch. And this one foul out of play down the left field line. And this one popped up, shallow right field. Kaylin Russell Tyler not able to make the grab as she laid out for that one. Just misjudging that one. I think she would have been able to easily make the grab if she didn't kind of stutter step and stop a little bit there. It's going to be a hit for Lennon Decker. And. With one out, the Panthers have a runner on, and it brings to the plate Brianna Turry. One for two with a strikeout on the day. Or excuse me, 0 for two with a strikeout. Throw down to first. Trying to back pick Lennon Decker there, not in time. Throw down again. Letting Decker once again in safely. And Turry ahead 2 0 in the count. That one's in the dirt. Letting Decker is going to head on down to second. She's in there safely. And with one out, the Panthers have a runner in scoring position. And Turry has a 3 0 count.
one popped out into right field. It will be caught two outs now as Lennendecker advances to third. And Aubrey Joe steps into the batter's box. Joe drives this one out in the left field, and it'll be caught for the third out of the inning. We head to the bottom of the six. It's still North Medford three, South Medford two. You're listening to Black Tornado, South Medford Panthers softball. Back right after this. All right, let's go, guys. 15 minutes. Get your stuff. Bye, Mom. Have a good day, guys. I don't know what happened. Just next time, go a little slower and figure it out. Okay, I get it. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take the line. Life is busy. Juggling everything can be overwhelming. We've all been there. So consumed with our own lives that we sometimes forget about what someone else might be going through. Ref, come on! No, ref! There's no contact! I'm straight up! That is a terrible So goal. keep it in perspective. Because we're all hoping for the same thing. To be respected for who we are and what we do. Remember, no ref, no game. You can be a parent, athlete, coach, or an official. But you can only be one. Know your role. We welcome you back. Lithia Superstore Game of the Day here on Table Rock Sports. It's the top of the six. North Medford leads South Medford 3-2. to two. Folks, did you know Solar Pros and owner Mason Mahaffey invite you to learn how you can save thousands on solar panels installation for your home? Visit Solar Pros' Facebook page to learn more. Search Facebook, Solar Pros, PNW. And spring sports action is brought to you by our title sponsor, Lithia Superstore Jeep Dodge Chrysler, where you can find great deals on the lot or at lithiasuperstore.com. And our presenting sponsor, Siskiyou Cellular of Southern Oregon, now with nine locations to serve you. It is the bottom half of the sixth inning. North Medford will have their... Five, six, seven batters coming to the plate. It's Callie Rains up there now. Swing and a miss there. The count now even to one ball and one strike. Two one now the count to Reigns. Lennon Decker delivers, and it's going to get past the second baseman for South Medford Butterfield in the leadoff batter again aboard for North Medford. So four straight innings, the leadoff batter has been aboard for the Black Tornado. And now Gia Rutgliano steps into the batter's box. 0 for 2 with a strikeout on the day. Showing bunt, pulls back, and swinging. Fouls it out of play over the top of the backstop.
Showing bunt again, and this one foul down the third baseline. The count now 0-2 to Rutgliano. Retigliano. The one-two pitch, and it's going to hit her. North Medford now with runners on first and second with nobody out here in the sixth. So now J.C. Russell Tyler, one for two with a walk and a single at the plate, looking to extend the North Medford lead. Showing bunt, lays it down, taken by the catcher, but it's going to be foul. Showing bunt again and pulling back. Looking at ball two, two and one is now the count. Two two count now to Tyler. Ladin Decker, the wind up and the delivery swung on. Ground ball to the second baseman. They're gonna get the lead runner at third. North will still have runners at first and second with one out here in the sixth. Now at the plate number eleven, Lucy Roberts, the designated hitter today. One and one now the count to Roberts. Retigliano over at second. Over at first for North Medford is J.C. Russell Tyler. And Roberts at the plate looking to extend the North Medford lead. 
now has a three and one count. And Roberts is going to walk. And the base is loaded now for North Medford with one out here in the sixth. No balls and a strike now to Kaylin Russell Tyler. She looks at that one just outside for ball one. Sorry. And a swing and a miss, strike two. One and two now for Tyler. And that one popped up. Aubrey Joe will have a play on it. Makes the grab and foul territory. And we have two outs. And now back to the top of the order for North Medford. Leadoff batter Malia Hamlin coming to the plate. She's one for three with a single in this ball game. Swing and a miss there from Hamlet. And she hits this one into left field. It's going to get down in fair territory. One run scores. Two runs score. Three runs will score on the triple from leadoff batter Malia Hamlin. And it's now 6-2 to two North Medford here in the sixth inning. And now at the plate, Natalia Tescala. She is 2 for 3 with a single, a double, and two RBIs. Now a 1-1 count to Tescala. That one in the dirt. Good stop there by Hillier. I want to strike probably at the top of the zone there. And the count now even. Two balls and two strikes.
And that one fouled off and out of play. And now full count. Three balls and two strikes. And it's a hard hit ball back to the pitcher, Ledendecker. The throw on over to first in time. That's going to do it for the top of the sixth. But North Medford gets three more across on the... Three RBI triple from Hamlin. And it's now 6-2 to two North Medford, as you see on the John L. Scott scoreboard. John L. Scott offices in Medford, Ashland, and Eugene. Back right after this on Timber Rock Sports. Jeep celebration event is going on now at Lithia Chrysler Jeep Dodge of Medford. We're stocked up on a great selection of new vehicles from Chrysler, Jeep Dodge, and of course, Ram trucks. Choose from our great inventory of new Jeep Gladiator and Grand Cherokee 4x4 models in stock now. Or test drive a new 24 Ram 1500 4x4. Jump online today with our online process to calculate your own payment, whether it's a lease, finance, or cash payment. Only at the Lithia Chrysler Jeep Dodge of Medford Superstore. You're your game day adventure starts at Pinnacle 365. Kick off your day with some morning motivation. Then add some crunch to your game day with mouth-watering crispy crunchy chicken party meals. Featuring bone-in, tenders, and wings. Make sure you remember the biscuits. You're sure to be the hit of the party when you show up with the crispy crunchy chicken party meal. Plus, with our Peak Rewards app, you can be earning savings on fuel for your next fill-up. Enjoy your game day adventures more at Pinnacle 365. We welcome you back. Let's see a Superstore Game of the Day here on Table Rock Sports. The Panthers down to their final three outs here as we head to the top of the seventh inning. And North Medford leads by four. At the plate now for the Panthers, it is Shelby Hillier. Hillier. One for three, or excuse me, one for two so far with a single. Scored on the RBI double by Tully. Back in the fifth inning. And Hillier here with a 2-2 two -two count. And Hillier drives one out into center field. She'll have a leadoff single for the Panthers here in the seventh inning. Hillier now two for three. With two singles. Jaden Coke comes to the plate now. She has struck out twice in the ball game. First pitch to Coke outside for ball one. And Cope pops this one up and out of play. Foul ball. 1-1 one, one down the count.
And that one down in the zone, but called strike. Now, Coat behind, one and two. A 2-2 pitch. High pop fly down the left field line. It will be caught in foul territory on the diving grab. And there's one out. A terrific diving grab and in foul territory out there. Made by Malia Hamlin. Now the nine hitter, Sydney Butterfield, steps into the batter's box for the Panthers. And Butterfield drives this one out into left field. It'll get down for a single. Butterfield now two for three with two singles in the ball game, and she turns the lineup back over to the top two, Malia Tolley, who is one for two with a walk and a double and two RBI. And Tolly pops the first one up and out of play. And two straight balls makes the count two and one. And that one just missing down in the zone. So three one to Tolly. Runners on first and second. And that's going to get in there for a strike. The count now full. <laughs> and Tolly's going to walk. The base is now loaded for South Medford here in the top of the seventh as they trail by four. One out, and now coming to the plate will be Hannah Turpin. And timeout called by North Medford as the count two balls 
And no strikes to Turpin. And the base is loaded for South Medford. Folks, before or after the game is a great time to visit Dutch Bros and enjoy your favorite beverage. Drink One for Dane Day is coming in May, where over $2.5 million has been raised for the Muscular Dystrophy Association in 18 years by Dutch Bros and the customers who support them. So 2-0 the count now to Turpin. And that one going to be in there low for a strike. That ball. I think a pretty good frame job there by the catcher. As it almost hit the dirt. And now a 2-2 count for Turpin. And that one high and outside for a ball. And the count now full with the bases loaded and one out. The 3-2 pitch. And it is in there for strike three. And we have two away. Fourth strikeout of the day for Urban. Just below the knee. So now at the plate for South Medford, it's Casey Hudson, 0 for 3 on the day. Looks at the first pitch at the bottom of the zone for strike one. And that one fouled off into the backstop. And Hudson now behind in the count. No balls and two strikes. And Hudson fouls this one up and out of play. And that is strike three. That will do it. North Medford gets out of the jam here in the seventh, and they will walk away with a 6-2 to two victory over South Medford. Game two coming your way in just a little bit. We'll have that call here on Table Rock Sports as well. Going to step away. The Know Your Earl postgame show coming up here on TableRockSports.net.
We welcome you back. It's the Know Your Roll postgame show here on Table Rock Sports. North Medford defeats South Medford by a final score of 6-2. to The winning pitcher today is Gabby Urban. The losing pitcher will be Nicole Ledendecker. For the Panthers, Malia Tolley finished the day 1-4 for four with two walks, a... Two RBI double. 0 for 4 for Turpin. 0 for 4 for Hudson. 1 for 3 for Ledendecker. 0 for 3 for Turry. 0 for 3 for Aubrey Joe. 2 for 3 with two singles on the day for Shelby Hillier. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts for Jaden Coat. And 2 for 3 with two singles for the 9 hitter Sydney Butterfield today. It was the single by Hillier, the single by Butterfield, and the two RBI double by Tolley that got the two runs across for the Panthers. On the other side for North Medford. Malia Hamlin, 2 for 4 with a single and a three-run RBI triple, came in the sixth. 2 for 4 with a single and a two-RBI double, which came in the fifth for T. Scala. An RBI triple for Presley Lawton. She went 1 for 3. 1 for 3 with a strikeout for... The pitcher, Gabby Urban, one for three with two strikeouts for Callie Reigns. 0 for three with a strikeout and a hit by pitch for Gia Rutigliano. One for three with a walk and a single for J.C. Russell Tyler. 0 for three for Lucy Roberts and 0 for three. For the nine hitter, Kaylin Russell Tyler on the day. Urban finishes with four strikeouts. And so does Ledendecker. And North Medford comes away with the victory six to two. 125 start, or excuse me, 225 start time for game number two here at Larry Benny Field. We will have that call here on Table Rock Sports. Until then, we will see you for game two in just a little bit. You've been listening to North Medford Soft North Medford South Medford Softball on TableRockSports.net.